everybody. Headed out to the farm after lunch. Um, this is kind of a video for Yamaha Venture. Um, I suppose it's a response video. I'm not at all angry about anything. I've looked at your channel and when I upload this video, I fully intend on subscribing. But I suppose I maybe defend Harbor Freight just a little bit. Uh, I'm no fanboy. I mean, there's certain things there I would never buy. Uh, and I am, I'm not on their payroll. Uh, but I, I mean, I would like to have nice tools. And if I ever have a shop, I would, that's what I'd like to have in it. I mean, but like tools that I carry around with me in the van here when I'm farming, I don't really like to buy expensive quality tools because I lose them. Um, I'm ashamed to say it, but I do. I mean, like when I'm working on a tractor or a combine and the pressure is on, I'm trying to get my machine fixed out in the field or on the side of the road or something or any number of things like that. Uh, tools get lost, and I've lost some nice tools before, and it, it's really a kick in the gut. Uh, so I kind of made a decision to the tools that I carry around with me. And because, for whatever reason, I'm probably a bit careless, under stress in, during certain seasons of the year, and stuff is I feel, feels out of control, that's when my tools come up missing. So I just figured, maybe the, maybe the Harbor Freight stuff makes a little bit more sense once in a while. And like, that, like I talked about in the comments, that three-quarter inch impact wrench. I don't use that daily. I don't use it weekly. I probably use it half a dozen times a year. But when I do use it, I really need it. But a three-quarter inch impact from Snap-on is a thousand bucks. I can't afford that. I'm and my central pneumatic one was 99 bucks, and I've had it three years, and it's and it's it's always worked when I wanted it to. So, granted, I am not a professional. This, well, a professional user of impact wrenches anyway. So. However, on the other hand, my cousin used to work on, was a semi-truck mechanic, and he showed, he bought a whole set of, I think, I think Snap-on or SK, I'm not sure, when he got out of school, and had a Snap-on impact wrench, and, and his, his co-workers didn't say anything about it, but yeah, they were using Harbor Freight impacts. And they used them all the time. And they said, he said, he says, well, you're, you've been here, what, three months, he said, the guy said to him, and he's like, yeah, he's like, well, you'll get it about a year and three, four months out of your impact range. And he says, really? He says, yeah, they're about, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. He said, the, the, the Harbor Freights last about a year. So he says, I can buy it at a, a hard freight impact wrench for a hundred bucks and for, for a half inch impact and, for, and uh, he says a, a half inch impact from snap on back then is 600 bucks. And it's usually going to last about a year and six months. So anyway, all the guys in the shop he worked at used hard
hard with radio facts. Maybe that's in the hand tools. You're right. They were all they were all snap on stuff. But anyway, so I don't know. That's that's my story about impact wrenches. But anyway, I just I mean I don't consider myself a fanboy of really anything. I mean, sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to use Harbor Freight stuff, and I hope to someday be able to have nice stuff. Uh, right now, this this van is a Chevy. I also have a F-150. I've got a Dodge wheat truck and an international wheat truck. I've got John Deere, Alice Chalmers, and Case IH that I own. It's just. Of people, I, I just try to get get what I can. I, I use what I can to get what I need to get done. And I'm not trying to tell anybody anybody what to buy or how to spend their money. I'm not gonna. It's just what I. It's, and I'm gonna continue to do. I'm gonna continue to buy stuff from Harbor Freight. Uh, and I'm gonna continue to give as honest as I can. Use them. So far, I have like my generator. I use it quite a bit. I haven't, I haven't had any problems with it. But it's not an inverter generator. It's just a plain chain generator. It seems to start really easily. I guess. And so far, I haven't taken a bath on anything I've ever bought from Harbor Freight. I take that back. I did have their 30 ton bottle jack and it started leaking. But I might have used it. So, we'll, we'll see. But I don't know. Alright. Well, thanks for watching the farm show. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye bye.